this word has been so popularized by hip hop culture and hip hop community that it now holds a recreational intent. To everybody that's talking about why is Krayshawn and V Nasty and the white girl mob saying the word nigga and all that shit. First of all, you motherfuckers need to wake up. This is 2011, bro. Nobody gives a fuck about that shit no more. If you want to trip off somebody saying the word nigga? Come on, bro. That word has it's like this. I just think that um, for her benefit, that she needs to understand the severity of what she does. When you start traveling, you start realizing that that word still heavily hot holds a lot of weight in certain areas and demographics. Um, not so, so much in the city of Oakland. And we have to humble ourselves sometimes to other people's, uh, uh, I won't necessarily say sensitivity, but to other people's on look on things and like I've been talking to V and showing her how racism is still heavy and you know in this country that we live in today how racism is still heavy and you know in this country that we live in today how racism is still heavy and you know in this country that we live in today and and opening up her eyes to some of the things that she may not have been aware of um, and we, we humble ourselves to everybody else's disagreements but at the end of the day I still stand firm on my decision is that this word has been so popularized by hip hop culture and hip hop community that it now holds a recreational intent. No longer the, uh, the defamation or the derogatory maliciousness that it once held. Um, and to anybody out there that, uh, that, that still is trying to fuel fire from the usage of this word, if you don't use it, I humble myself to you. But if you use it and you're hitting me with a double standard like, oh, I use it, but they can't use it, then I don't respect you. You know, if, 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 you, if you don't use the word, then, you know, my humble apologies go to you. And, um, and it is what it is, you know, at the end of the day, this word isn't going to feed you or starve you. And we have bigger issues and bigger fish to fry in this, in this world that we live in today. And uh, that shouldn't be an issue that you should be that much worried about. You should be worried about much bigger things, you know? And uh, that's just my take on it. I, I think that that, world, that word has become so popular in today's times and culture that people, if you ask them the original origin of this word, no one would be able to tell you. You know? And, and if they were to be able to tell you, they don't know the maliciousness that this used to carry. They just like, they think it's just like, bro, bruh, friend, cousin, you know. Um, everywhere you go, this word is being used. Whether people admit it or not, they use this word. Now, we live in times where people will accept something privately and deny it publicly. And this is where the controversy starts. Because I'm pretty sure if you ask anyone, have they ever used this word, whether it was being mad at someone, whether it was when no one else was around, whether it was you were singing your rapper's favorite song and that part came on and you, you said it when it came on but nobody was around, you know, you know. It, 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 the, the usage of this word is recreational now. It's not an intent to offend even though it does offend people. It's not um, an intent to humiliate or disrespect. And uh, I just think that, me personally, I feel that there's much more to talk about in this world than to worry about who's using the N-word. Info. Info.